Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the X-Ray Tetra. You can see them right there. I have a few different species, like that gold one, normal one, and one with like all black eyes. I'm just going to be talking about the, like their Karenes and stuff. Basically, they're like pretty much most other Tetras. I mean, sometimes Tetras need it, kind of unique needs, but these guys are pretty basic. They're they're hardy, easy, and peaceful. They're a great first fish. I had them as a first fish in this tank. And they survived through quite a lot. They eat and they eat flakes, tropical flakes. And occasionally you should probably treat them to like blood worms or something, brine shrimp. Because they really do appreciate that. They need water temperature about 72 to 82 degrees. It's kind of just like a tetra thing. Hobbyists have really... This has been a favorite of hobbyists for like... I don't know how long, but years. And I can see why, because I really like them. Because they're translucent, you know, there's actually a way to... Um, tell the gender of them. And how you do that is you look at the swim bladder. A fish organ, which can trolls like you know where they are in the water they can fill it with water to make them sink or they could fill it with air to you know lift them a little higher anyway the swim bladder on females is more rounded and you know obviously with males it would be less rounded so that's one way you can tell I I'm not aware of any others They're really nice fish. I would really recommend them for, um, at very least, the first fish. Oh yeah, tank size. Tank size is about 10 gallons or larger. The larger the better, but they can live pretty happily in a 10 gallon. So yeah, that's pretty much all I know about the X-Ray Tetra.